Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of inequalities on a number line. This is standard 7.10b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different number lines here. They all range from negative 10 to 10, and we need to represent the solution to this inequality. So 125x plus 200 is greater than or equal to 1,200. Well, how we represent inequalities actually works a lot like representing equations. It's an inequality because it's got that greater than or equal to sign. So in both situations, whether it be an equal sign or whether it be an inequality sign, what we want to do is we want to isolate the variable. We want to get that x all by itself. And so we can actually follow the same procedures we would if that's an equal sign. So we look at the, the x is over here, right? And so it is kind of being cluttered up here by a multiply 125 and an addition or an adding of 200. And if you're looking at the uh, order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You always start from the bottom up in regards to knocking things away from x. And so this addition right here is the weakest link here. So we can get rid of this plus 200 if we subtract 200. Now, in order to keep this as a balanced inequality, just like we would a balanced equation, we need to do the same thing to both sides. So those two cancel each other out. I'm simply left with 125x. It's greater than or equal to, this is 1,000 now. Now the only thing that's kind of cluttering up that x is we have a multiplication. 125, there's no uh, operation there, but whenever you have a number next to a letter, there's no operation shown. It's always assumed to be multiplication, so we're going to take care of that next. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. And so in this case, the opposite of multiplication is going to be right there, our division. So those are inverse operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now there's one little trick here. If for some reason this happened to be a negative number, so if we were to divide or multiply by a negative number, you would actually need to flip this symbol. So let me say that again. If you divide or multiply by a negative number when you are doing dealing with inequalities, you actually flip the symbol. So this uh, greater than or less than would become a less than or equal to. Greater than or equal to would turn into that. And it's just something that's strange that happens when you deal with negative numbers. Uh, and multiplying or dividing them with inequalities. You don't have to worry about that with equations because you don't flip an equal sign. But with inequalities, keep that in mind. In this case, we don't have to. They're both positive. So 125 divided by 125 is nothing. There's my x right there. It's 1x, but we don't really need to show the 1. So I just need to divide 125 into 1,000. And so you might know this. This is going to be like a, a pretty common um, denominator for dealing with fractions. But if you don't, it's actually going to go in 8 times 16 is 20. Yeah, it's going to go in 8 times. If you take 1,000 and uh, divide it by 8, you're going to get 125. So x is greater than or equal to 8. All right. So now let's look at our answer selections. So you notice everything is hanging out right here at this 8. So that doesn't really help us. Um, but we need to look at our direction. So x is greater than or equal to 8. So we're going to look at this dark arrow. Anything greater than 8, we're going to take a look at. So we're going to get rid of b, we're going to get rid of d, because those are less than 8. But look at the difference here. Closed circle, open circle. So this is an open circle, greater than 8. But since we've got that equal to sign, we need A, closed. 